Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the uh, difference between the main bars and the distribution bars. This is a very important topic uh, related to the every Civil Engineering students. So here I will discuss the main differences between these two types of bar. Is these two types of bars are mostly used in the slabs and footing and so on. So let's come to discuss the differences between these two types of bars. The first difference between these two types is that the main bars are those bars which are provided uh, at the bottom of the NRCC member. At the bottom of NRCC member. At the bottom of any RCC member. It may be slave, it may be footing. While uh, distribution bars are those bars which are provided on the top of the main bars. They are provided on the top of the main bar on the top of the main bars for example I will show it here that the main bar are those bar for example this is the footing this is any footing maybe the isolated footing or the spread footing so the main bars are provided at the bottom of this structure member like footing these are the main bars which are provided at the bottom, at the least bottom of any member. We call it the main bars. While distribution bars are those which are placed on the top of the main bars. Like this, on the top of the main bars, so we call this type of bar as the distribution bars. This is the one of the main difference between these two types of bar. Now coming to the second difference between these two types of bar. These main bars are used for to resist the bending stresses they are usually provided to resist the bending stresses and any RCC member and mostly common the tensile stresses they are mostly used to resist the tensile stresses while the distribution bars are those which are uh, used to resist the shrinkage stresses to resist the shrinkage stresses shrinkage stresses and due to the temperature change due to temperature change due to temperature change some shrinkage uh, stresses are formed in the uh, member so we provide the bars uh, these bars are called distribution bars sometimes distribution bars are also known as the shrinkage reinforcement because they are used to provide to resist the shrinkage stresses which are occur due to the temperature change mainly now coming to the third difference between these two type of bar these type of bar are usually provided in the shorter direction in the shorter direction why because mainly the moment bending moment is maximum in the shorter direction while if we if we choose any rectangular uh, footing or slab so these are provided in the shorter direction while uh, these are provided uh, along the longer direction because a longer direction there are not too much stresses so we provide this type of bar and in, in the longer direction the other difference between these two type bar is the uh, their main bars are provided on the tension zone they are provided on the tension zone they are also provided on the tension zone the distribution bar also provided on the tension zone but they are provided for what they are provided for binding the for binding for binding the main bars in their original position for binding the main bars in their original position so that the main bars does not uh, move from their own position original position that's why they are provided sometimes their function is like this so this was the little difference between these two types of bar which are commonly used in the footing and slabs but sometimes students don't differentiate between the mains and distribution bars. So main bars are always provided at the bottom of the NRCC structure while they are provided on the top of the main bars. They are always provided to resist the bending stresses especially the tensile stresses while shrinkage are always uh, distribution bars are always provided for the shrinkage stresses. They are always provided on the shorter direction because the moon bending moment is always maximum along the shorter direction in case of the 
uh, one-way slip in case of the one-way slip and there are distribution bar provided along the longer direction. In case of the two-way slip, if a square slip is there, so both are equally distributed bars. Tension zone, they are always provided in the tension zone to resist the bending stresses or tensile stresses while they are also provided on the tension zone but their purpose for binding the main parts in their original position. So this was the difference between these two types of bars and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.